Do you wanna learn how to debone and cook a leg of lamb? Then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you. So to get started on our lamb leg, you'll need a trimming or boning knife. Now you don't wanna be using a chef knife, they're too bulky and you're gonna have a really hard time doing it. So if you've got something like that shape, that'll be perfect. All right, so we've got our beautiful lamb leg here. We're just gonna turn it over and we wanna start by taking out this hip bone here. So on the inside of the bone, you wanna run your knife hard up against that. And then you just wanna work down we can turn it around slightly and you can follow it through here. Pull it down a bit, keep working your way down and around and you'll eventually be able to pop it out. So see how that's coming away now? So we'll get our knife and continue on. And you always wanna try and cut away from yourself where possible. And once you get down a bit further, there's a little bit of bone in there that sort of runs up and inside. So just work your knife up and around that. And there's our little hip bone. There's just a little gland in there. So just tidy that up. All right, now there's a few different ways you can do the next part, but this is the way I like to do it. So still keeping your lamb leg upside down, you've obviously got the bone that runs through here and the back of the bone is popping through the meat here. So I like to use that as a guide. So we'll go right up against the bone, either side of the bone, and you just lift it up slightly, go underneath on the back side, and just work that meat away from the bone. And then on the inside here, just continue following hard up against the bone. Obviously we'll get to the joint in here. So you just wanna work your knife around that. And then once you're around that, continuing on hard up against the bone, and that'll bring you out to near where we were working before. And then once we're down here, start taking off the meat from the bone from this opposite side. And then we can do what we did before. Get our knife underneath there. And we can start working towards getting this bone out. Now you can go through here, but you are gonna be left with a little bit of bone we can pop out of there after this. There you have it, the main bone's out. Now we've just got to take this little part out here. You can just tidy up the shank end there a little bit. And there's also a gland down in here. As you can see, once you start separating through this seam here where the top side is, you get to a little pocket of fat here. There's a big ugly gland in there. As you can see in there, that gland, we want to take that out. And then there we have a boneless leg of lamb. So what we can do now, if your top side is much bigger than your round, you can butterfly it out to sort of even your lamb out, but we're going to tuck our little shank in. We're going to roll this lamb leg up. And that's actually quite nice and uniform. So that's gonna cook nice and evenly once we string it up, which is what we're gonna do next. So you can get pretty fancy with the lamb legs when you're boning them out, rolling them and seasoning them, but we're just gonna keep it super simple today. So go ahead, get some butcher's string or cooking twine, and we'll start working on getting this thing strung up. All right, so once you've rolled it up nice and tight and it's got a nice uniform shape, you're gonna get your butcher's string. We're gonna go underneath, we'll start in the middle. On the tag end, we're gonna make a loop, go through it. Tighten it off, and then we're gonna tie a knot in the tag end, just so it doesn't pull through on itself when we're tightening it up. And then we're just gonna tighten it here and pull it back and forth. And once it's nice and firm, we'll make a loop, go around our tag end and lock it off. And then you can snip that off and we'll do that a couple more times. And if you want to stop this shank meat from coming out, you can either trim it off or we can put another string around it lengthways. And there we have it. All right, now we can season it. So you can use salt, pepper, garlic, and a bit of rosemary or your favorite lamb rub, but we're gonna be using garlic goals. That's our new rub. It's now available. It's a great all-purpose rub, but I especially love it on lamb. So we'll go ahead and give our lamb leg a nice, generous coating. 
Now, if you wanted to season both sides of your lamb leg or if you wanted to stuff it before you rolled it up and tied it, then by all means go for it. You'll get some more flavor in there. But like I said, we're gonna keep it super simple. So our next step is to set this Weber up and get this lamb leg cooking. All right, so we'll take our lid off, our cooking grate, and then we'll fill up a chimney worth of charcoal or briquettes if you wanted to use that. Then we'll get a couple of fire lighters going and get this charcoal chimney on. So we've got about 10 minutes before that charcoal is gonna be ready. So let your lamb legs sit. That's gonna really let those flavors settle in. And if you wanted to use those 10 minutes to get some roast veggies ready to go in with your lamb leg, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But as for now, we're just gonna wait until this charcoal's ready and then we'll come back to get this lamb leg on. All right, that charcoal's ready. Let's get the rest of this Weber set up. So we'll fill our charcoal baskets up. We'll get a drip tray in there. Perfect for them roast veggies if you wanted to do them in there. Get our cooking grate on, our beautiful lamb leg on. And feel free to add a chunk of smoking wood to the baskets if you wanted to also. Then we'll get our lid on and we'll make sure both vents are wide open. All right, so our lamb leg is on and that's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour per kilo to cook. But as always, we're gonna be using internal temperature as our main point of reference. And we're gonna be cooking this until we reach an internal temperature of around 145 Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna let our lamb leg cook away and we'll come back once we're about an hour into this cook. All right, so we're an hour in, let's have a look. All right, so that's looking amazing. Got some beautiful color on there. Now I don't want the outside to burn before the middle is cooked. So what I'm gonna do is just wrap some foil over the outside and we'll get our lid back on. Now with a smaller lamb leg, you'd be able to get away with not covering it with foil because it would be small enough to cook through without burning the outside. Now, if you're after a cooking temperature for the Weber, we're looking at around the 450 Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius range. And if you need to make any adjustments to your Weber temperature, as always, we'll do that by using the bottom vent. So if you need a decrease temperature, shut it down slightly. If you need to increase, open it up a bit more. And if both of your vents are wide open and you still can't get your Weber hot enough, and that's probably a sign you need to put some more charcoal or briquettes in there. And another thing is there's so much variation between different brands of charcoal and briquettes. So if you find that your briquettes or your charcoal isn't gonna last the entire cook, feel free to top it up or alternatively, you can always finish it off in the oven and you're still gonna have plenty of beautiful, smoky charcoal flavor in that lamb roast. So we're gonna to continue to let our lamb roast cook away until we reach our target internal temperature. I'm assuming that's gonna take another hour to an hour and a half to get there. And then just before we finish, we're gonna take that foil off to let our lamb roast crisp up again before we come back to slice and serve it. All right, so we're just over two and a half hours into this cook. I've checked our lamb, we've hit our target internal. So let's open up our Weber and have a look. Right, we'll take our foil off. As you can see in the thickest part here, we're at 146 Fahrenheit or 64-ish degrees Celsius. And because that foil was only loosely on there, that top fat is still nice and crispy. So there's no need to put our lid back on to let it crisp up. So we'll get it out and into a tray. So all I'm gonna do now is let that rest in the tray for 10 minutes as it is before we come back to slice and have a taste. All right, our lamb's had a little rest. I can't wait any longer. Let's get stuck into it. All right, that's exactly how I like my lamb. Still nice and pink, still juicy as. Oh, it looks amazing. Let's have a taste. All right, I'm going for this end piece. Take a slice off there. And then a bit with that crispy top fat. Oh man. That is so tasty. That garlic goes great on lamb. It's got your classic salt and pepper base. Heavy on the garlic, so it's really well paired to lamb. If you wanted to check it out, I'll put a link down in the video description for you to have a look at. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And we'll see you next time. Mm.